Okay, module two, topic B, lesson number seven, connect area models and the distributive property to partial products of the standard algorithm with renaming. So we're going one step further into this uh, skill here. So now instead of just using two digit factors, we're using three digit factors times three digit factors for both of our uh, problems here. And if you notice, we have three digits times three digits it's going to give us nine total boxes in our area model. So we have three digits going across and three digits going down for a total of nine total boxes. All right, let's get started. First step we're going to do is multiply seven times two, and we're going to come up with 14. Then we have seven times 40. If we don't know that, we do know what seven times four is. Seven times four is 28. And then we have one zero in our factors. Same thing here, 7 times 600, we don't know, but we know 7 times 6 is 42, and we have two zeros in our factor. And let's go ahead and add that up for our partial product. 14, that's going to be a 4 in the 1's place, 9 in the 10's place, 4 in the 100's, and 4 in the thousand. So I just added these three numbers together to get this here. 4,200 plus 280 plus 14 equals 4,494. All right, next, that's our first partial product. We can call it PP1 or partial product one. Next, we're gonna go 50 times two. We know that two sets of 50 is 100. Then we have 50 times 40. We don't know what that is, but we know that 50 times 40, I'm sorry, 5 times 4 is 20. Then we have one zero here and one zero here. So add two zeros. Remember that 20 was the 5 times 4, and then we had two zeros in our product, I'm sorry, factors. Next we have 5 and a 6, 50 times 600. 5 and a 6, we know that that's 30. Then we're going to count 1, 2 zeros there, 1, 0 there, 1, 2, 3 zeros total. That was our 30 plus our 3 zeros from our factors. And we should know that when we're multiplying, that's 1, 2, 3. We're really saying 30 times 1,000. So that's going to be 30,000. Add our partial products up. That's 32,100. Now, if you notice, our numbers aren't lining up here, so we're going to have to rewrite those numbers over here. And we'll do this last partial product and write them from greatest to least. All right, 200 times 2 is 400. 200 times 40 is 8,000. And then 200 times 600 is 120,000. So that's going to be 128,400. 128,400. Let's write that down first. So we can have our numbers nice and spaced out so that we line our place value up. Next is 32. 1,100, and finally 4,494. We add these numbers up. We get four ones, nine tens, that's nine hundreds, that is six, 14, and group, that's six and one. And that is our final product right there. Our final product is 164,994. And if we wanted to, we could do the same thing by distributing seven to each one. So let's go seven times two is 14. Seven times four is 28 plus one is 29. Two, seven times six is forty-two. Seven times two is forty-four. 
Now, mind you, I said seven times two, seven times four, and seven times six. It's really seven times two, seven times 40, and seven times 600. All right, let's look at that for the next digit in our bottom factor, which is our five. So now we're going to take our five and distribute that five, which is 50, five tens times two, five tens times four tens, and then five tens times six hundreds. All right, so five tens, which is this, five tens, or 50 times two, we're going to use 100, write our zero, and we're going to regroup our one, we're just going to use that same one, and then 50 times 40, 50 times 40 is 2,000, plus my one, then I'm going to regroup my two again, and I'm just going to use, recycle that two there. Now I have 50 times 600, you know that that's 30,000 plus my 2,000 is 32 in my thousands place. And if you notice, these partial products here are starting to look exactly like partial products from the previous problem we did or the area model that we did. And last but not least, let's go with our final partial product, which is going to be 200 times each one of those digits in our first factor. And let's just make that green. Now we have 200 times 2 is 400. 200 times 40 is 8,000. And then 200 times 600 is 120,000. Put that in, then we add these up. And if you notice, this also was identical to our partial product that we came up with earlier. When we add all of these up, we come up with 4, 9, 4, 8, 9, 10, 14, 3 group 6 and 1, which is the same number that we came up with over here for our final product. Now, it's important that you pay attention to details because the only thing different between the expression in A and the expression in B is that in the second factor, this number here becomes a 0. It was a 257, now it's 207. So we're just going to have zeros going all the way across here because we know anything times zero is equal to zero. And we'll walk through that once we get to our tens place in our second factor. So let's go ahead and just reduplicate these numbers right up top because all of those are going to be the same. Seven times two. Just like above, it's 14 right there. 7 times 40, just like above, 280. And 7 times 600 is 4,200 or 4,200. All right, now 0 times 2, we already said 0. 0 times 40, 0. 0 times 600, 0. Moving back to this problem here to pull these three numbers, we know that 200 times 2, 400, 200 times 40, 8,000, and last but not least, 200 times 600 is 120,000. Now, our partial products are going to be the same except for, of course, this partial product is going to be zero. So this number is going to be the same because we have the same digits in our multiplication problems, and the same here. This number is going to be the exact same. Hopefully you can see how I came up with that. Now the only difference is this number, our final product when we add these two partial products together, is going to be minus this. So we're going to take our final product in our first problem, or in A, 
and subtract this partial product to find out what our new final product is. And I'll walk you through that. Let's add it first. We have 128,400 plus 4,494. Really quick addition. 4, 9, 8, 12, regroup, 3, 1. So now if we take our partial product, I'm sorry, our final product from last time and then subtract this, we should get this number here. So 4, 9, 8, 2, 3, 1. Yes, and you'll see that this number right here is the same as this. Now, if we went ahead and did our standard algorithm, standard algorithm gives the same information as above minus this 32,100. We have 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 4 is 28, plus 1 is 29, we do it with 2, 7 times 6 is 42, plus 2. Now we have 0 times 2 is 0, 0 times 40 is 0, 0 times 600 is 0. All right, now 200 times 2 is 400. 200 times 40 is 8,000, just like in our partial product here. And then 200 times 600 is 12,000. So came up with these two numbers again, and we add them up. 4, 9, 8, 12, regroup. Three, one. Let's draw a line and separate that. And that's how we come up with our partial product using the renaming method. And we can see that our partial products also match up here and here. Hopefully, this was informative. Feel free to shoot me an email or ask me a question in class regarding this problem. Thank you.